was the best piss anybody had ever taken. And many people have taken some impressive pisses. I myself once had a five and a half minute piss. Stood there in that stall for five and a half minutes, pissing, 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 pissing. I couldn't stop. It was waves of foam overcoming everything. I mean, the waters were rising. They were rising out of the bowl. And But anyway, this is not about my piss. This is about Larry Henderson's piss. Larry Henderson took a piss that would dwarf the pisses of anybody who ever dared or thought of pissing. Larry Henderson's piss was bigger than this. Larry Henderson, let me tell you a little bit about Larry so that you'll know where I'm coming from. Larry was about uh, six foot nine, about 280 pounds, and he could knock back the fucking beer, this guy. Oh, could he drink. You ain't never seen nobody knock him down like Larry Henderson. Never. So couple that with the fact that he's physically enormous as a person. And you can imagine that being so large, his bladder would be larger than the normal person's bladder because he's just, he's, you know, and I will admit he is a bit cumbersome. He doesn't uh, move well in small places. He can't get out of his own way, as my grandmother used to say. So, uh, Larry Henderson was pounding back the beers and pounding back the beers. And this guy came over and started talking to him. And this guy could talk. I mean, he just started yammering about his mother-in-law and his Raggedy Ann and Andy collection and uh, where he goes to jack off in the woods. I mean, you name it, this fucking guy was talking about it. So, Larry had just pounded about, I don't know, 18, 19 beers. And he's sitting there being beak preached at by this motherfucking guy. Now, Larry is a nice guy. I didn't mention that he's one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet, Larry. Oh, you can't meet a better guy than Larry. He'd shine your shoes in the dead of winter with a pelican up his ass. Wouldn't ask no questions. He would just do it. And he wouldn't take a dime for it. So, uh, so this guy's talking his ear off, and Larry's standing there, and he's got to piss. 15 minutes go by, 20, 25, 35, 45 minutes. This guy's still yammering. He's now talking about who pissed him off in high school and why he slashed their tires and why he, he goes to different places to jerk off in the forest than he used to go to because there's too many nosy people hanging around. So, you know, he, he, he would share that with, with the guy. And I'm over here, you know, just minding my own business and I'm taking this all in. I see Larry standing there. Hour and a half goes by two fucking hours the guy's still going can I go can I up the ante believe it or not two hours later the guy I don't know if he ran out of gas or or a snake bit him or what the fuck happened he just stopped talking and walked away from Larry well Larry ran to the bathroom well guess what Somebody was in the bathroom, and not only somebody, but it was somebody who had gas, the likes of which was so bad that there was a couple of floaters in the goldfish tank. The goldfish were going belly up because of this motherfucker sticking up this bathroom. The other bathroom was under repair, so we couldn't use that one. So this is the bathroom, and this is what Larry needs to use. Now, I'm, mind you, I'm taking this all in. I'm off to the side thinking, oh God, Larry has to piss so bad. I, I would have pissed myself by now. I would have just said, fuck it, I gotta piss. But Larry's holding it in, he's gonna have one hell of a piss. I almost wish I could watch, that I could go into the bathroom with Larry and 
watch him unleash this beast of a piss that he's going to unleash. And I'm thinking that he's going to fucking piss so much. I mean, he talked to that guy for fucking two hours, and he had already been pounding like 18 beers, and he's fucking drinking beers the whole time he's talking to this fucking guy. Fucking Larry must have had about 47 beers poking at his front fucking hole there, his dick hole, the hole at the end of his dick. He had about 47 beers going, hey, I want to come out now. So finally this motherfucker with the gas comes out of the bathroom. You could see a brown cloud. You could see a brown fucking cloud come out of the bathroom that this guy stunk it up so fucking bad. I said, oh, asshole. You don't go into somebody else's house and do that. There's something wrong with you. Oh, why is it always got to be scatological with me? Anyway, so uh, Larry finally goes into the bathroom, and I couldn't help it. I was curious. I went over and stood next to the door. I heard. Did you ever hear a fire hose unleashed? This is what I heard. Ba whoosh. I mean. He hit the water in that toilet. It sounded like all the water came out, went back in, came out, went back in, and went back in, and then came out again. It's what it sounded like. I've never heard a piss noise. I mean, and Larry, God bless him, he says, he's in there, he says, he says, because he got that shiver. You know when you're taking a piss and you get that, that little shiver? Yeah, well, imagine a, a two and a half hour uh, 47 beer piss. You'd have quite a shiver. And, um, hell, he must have pissed a lot. He flushed seven times. So, uh, I, I suppose the guy uh, filled up seven toilet bowls worth of piss, and that, that's a lot. I mean, I don't know if that's a world record or nothing like that. Uh, but as far as human beings go, and him being six foot nine and drinking like 47 beers, I think he probably pissed more than the average person, it's safe to say. And, and uh, well, well over the average uh, allotment of piss, probably uh, for one person for maybe a week. And that one unleashing of the piss, he probably pissed more piss in that unleashing of the piss than one normal person does in a fucking week. Especially a skinny person. He had to piss more than a skinny person in a week and just one... He just let it go. And uh, and Larry came out. I said, well done. He said, what do you mean? I said, well done, Larry. Well done. He said, what are you talking about, well done? I said, but, you know, you you let it go. He said, let what go? I said, you, you, it, you, you let the flow go to the show. You let it go. He said, what are you talking? I said, you're. You pissed. You, you, were, you were waiting for two hours to piss. And he looked at me. And he, he grabbed me by the collar. He said, you've been watching me? I said, well, I couldn't help but notice that guy was talking your ear off. He says, you've been watching me and timing how long it's been since I pissed, you little freak? I said, no. No, I haven't been. No, nothing, nothing of the kind. And, and he said, look. I don't know who you are, but I don't like you. And uh, I, I said, I'm sorry. I just thought that maybe you felt better, and I wanted to congratulate. He said, shut up. He told me to shut up, this guy. He said, look. He said, there's plenty of room in this fucking property for the two of us to not see each other for the rest of the night. I said, fine. We won't see one another. And, and he let me go. And as I was walking away, I thought, you know, what an asshole that guy is because... He he can't share the joy of a good piss with somebody else trying to make friends. I was, you know, trying to be his friend, opening up and talking and being open with people is what life's all about. And I wanted to say congratulations on a hell of a piss that you took. And, and